Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to talk a little bit about these guys called Peltier modules. Um, basically they work by you apply a current in here and you can see there are two uh, separate sides here. One side gets cold and one side gets hot. How that works is there are a number <clears throat> of semiconductors in there. Generally the number is 127 in these. You can figure it out if you want. You can count the number across, multiply it by the number down if you feel so inclined. So a quick demonstration on these and uh, we'll go on to something really interesting that you can do with them. All right, I've got a couple of thermocouples hooked up to either side of these, hooked to two separate meters, one to the cold side and one to the hot side. We're going to hook it up to the power supply here. Which is set for 4.8 volts, and we'll turn it on. And we should begin to see some changes in the temperature. I will let that run for a couple minutes and we'll be back. All right, that's been running for about 30 seconds. And you can see we have a differential there. Our hot side is 49 degrees Celsius. Our cold side is 27 degrees Celsius. And I'll just show you the power supply here real quick. And how well you guys can see that. 4.8 volts. And the current limit is set to an amp on here. So it's not current limiting, it's voltage limiting, and it's running about 700 milliamps. So these devices are used in like uh, dorm refrigerators, uh, camping fridges, uh, humidors, anything, uh, PC coolers, um, anything where you need a cooling effect. Generally what you would do is you would put the um a heat sink on the hot side and then you know the cold side will just get colder so there we have it let's uh let's check the other one too see if there's a difference between the two of them because this one should not be so hot on the cold side it would behave better on the hot side as well, or on the cold side, if there was a heat sink. I, I just don't happen to have a heat sink with me at the moment. So, let's hook up this other one here. And then what we'll do is we'll put the uh, thermal couples on here. And I'll hold them as best as I can. Yeah, you can see the hotter side is already getting hotter over here. And the cool side staying in about... 25 degrees C. There's a definite difference. I can feel the cool side cool and the hot side is hot enough that, you know, you don't really want to touch it for that long. So that is just a quick definition and review of the Peltiers. So now let me show you why we're really here. Now this one that we, we demonstrated is a small module. It uh, has a 4.8 volt maximum open voltage current. So, you know, you're, you're only going to get, you know, so much out of it. But there are bigger ones. There's 12 volt ones. You know, they would be considerably larger. But here's what we're talking about. Let's say, for instance, uh, you're camping or something. 
and you've got one of those little auto ice 12 volt auto ice chests well that's what they use they use these your car battery's dead your phone battery's dead yeah you need to call for help or something just you know a scenario well you can drive these in reverse and it uses what's known as the Seebeck effect. I'll put a link to it down below. It's really incredibly complicated and it's not my area of expertise. So I'll just put a link to where you can read some more about it. I am hooking up multimeter leads to the Peltier. And we'll put it in voltage mode. And as you can see right now, we basically got nothing. So you're out in the you're out in the middle of nowhere. Battery car battery's dead, phone battery's dead, you need some help. Well, you could pull the Peltiers out of your 12 volt ice cooler, get yourself a coffee can or something, stick one of these on the bottom of it, put some twigs and branches in the coffee can, and start a fire. That heat will generate electricity. Now you don't want to just throw this in a fire because you're gonna melt the wires off of it. And we do have a fire ban here right now, so I can't create a fire outside, but we can certainly simulate it with a little torch. So look at that, we're getting three volts. Yeah, I know you're going, not enough to charge my phone. Well, you can put two of these together, or three, or four, or however many of them are in your little, you know, 12 volt ice chest. Connect them in series, and you'll increase the voltage. Connect them in parallel, and you'll increase the current. Now this particular one has a maximum current of about 700 milliamps. I know you're saying, that's not good. My phone charges at 2.2 amps. Well, it'll charge at 700 milliamps too. It'll just take a little bit longer. And if you're trapped in the middle of the canyon lands of Utah and you don't have any other way to get some electricity, you'll be happy to know that. So Peltier modules, the Seebeck effect, also known as the thermoelectric effect. And just in case you didn't know, that's exactly how a thermocouple works. Ta-da! It all goes together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to Snow Diddley for stopping by yesterday. He got to see where all the magic is made. And we played some guitar together. That's it. I'm out. Peace.